Welcome to a day in the life. And for the first time, it's the Winter Wonderland edition. We have snow. I'm a morning person and get up early regardless if I work or not. My first priority is taking care of my cats, Minnie and Bonus. They're usually the ones telling me to get out of bed in the first place, so in order to get on with my day, I start off dealing with their litter box and feeding them. Then I crack open the window, let some fresh air in and open up my bedding, so it can air out for a little while. After I've let my bed freshen up, I make it. It's usually semi-unmade a little while later, because cats. I'm kind of off schedule with my regular laundry routine, so I put a load of white on. Then I had breakfast. I've been having overnight oats lately. I find it so convenient to keep a few jars in the fridge. I warm them quickly in the microwave and add some almond milk. And of course coffee. Then I got ready, which brings me to this video sponsor. Thanks for supporting the brands that support my videos, and thanks Function of Beauty for sponsoring this one. I have super dry skin to begin with, but at the moment it's drier than ever, so it's been really exciting to try skincare that's been custom made for me. I filled out a quiz online where I chose products based on my skin type, how much makeup I wear, how sensitive my skin is, and also my skin goals. My skin goals are to brighten and hydrate, and for the skincare to be anti-aging. For my very dry skin, I was recommended the jelly cleanser and cream moisturizer, along with a serum. I've been using the skincare for a few months now, and all three products are great honestly, but you guys, the cream moisturizer is a game changer. I don't think I've ever had a moisturizer that's worked this well on my dry skin. It goes on so smoothly, absorbs into the skin and leaves my face feel so much more hydrated than before, but not greasy at all. Also, I'm impressed by the high quality and clean products. My moisturizer contains hyaluronic acid and blue-green algae for hydrating and vitamin C and tangerine for brightening, along with so much more goodness. Also, Function of Beauty never uses parabens, sulfates, GMOs or toxins, and the products are 100% vegan and cruelty-free. Get 20% off your custom moisturizer or get the full bundle and receive a free headband when you click the link below. Thank you, Function of Beauty! After getting ready, I went for a walk in the snow. I have mixed feelings about snow. When we have tons for weeks and weeks, I'd rather not have it. When we have none for weeks and weeks, I'm so excited that it's here and want to take advantage. In my area of the city, I have this park on a hill and it's such a nice place in the snow. People are sledding and kids are playing. The surrounding area is also amazing. And a bit further there's this beautiful view overlooking the city.
Gamla stan, the old town with its narrow cobbled street, was next. But it started snowing and got a bit cold and slippery, so I headed towards home. Stopped by at a local small grocery store. Got a couple of things off my little list and treated myself to some tulips. If you've followed me for a while you know I'm no cook, but I do try to meal prep and prepare some things, so making food is simpler. I tend to forget to use things in my fridge if they're not ready to eat, so here I cooked a whole carton of eggs, minus one that I accidentally cracked before cooking them. While they were still warm, I had one with Kallis caviar. Kallis caviar is an acquired taste for sure. Not many people aside from sweets like it. It's made from fish roe and it's salty and fishy. A Swedish classic for sure. Then I remembered that I had a Tosca bun left over, so I had that too. Tosca is caramelized almonds and it's so good. An egg and a sweet bun is not the best lunch ever, but there you go. Then it was recycle time. I usually go to the recycling station around the corner every other week when the containers in my kitchen are full. I keep paper and cardboard in one bag and the rest in the other and sort everything in the corresponding dumpster. I've had quite a bit of success growing avocado plants from seeds in the past and already have two growing on my windowsill, but decided to make them into a group of three. The trick is to peel the pit and cut an X at the bottom before suspending it halfway down in water. Check and refill water as needed and make sure the bottom of the pit stays in water until the root forms. That can take a couple of weeks so I keep mine here where I see them all the time. The actual plants that start growing after a while can be potted and they have lasted me for quite a while but have ended up shriveling after a few months so then I just start over. This was quite an indulgent day. I don't normally eat this much junk, but as I was in the grocery store, I got sucked in at the pick and mix. Usually I get the more natural stuff like yogurt coated nuts and licorice, but this particular store doesn't have them, so I ended up with this. I promise it's not a regular occurrence. Popped outside real quick to take inventory on my patio, and it's pretty in the snow. For dinner on this evening I assembled a couple of small veggie burgers. Nothing elaborate, just stuff I had in the fridge piled on veggie burger patties.
ended my evening watching Netflix, having my vitamins and going to bed. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, it really helps my channel. Also consider subscribing. I'll continue to share all things Scandinavian for my apartment here in Stockholm and beyond. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Hej då!